probably that I was healthy again. Um, I mean, I was coming off two surgeries off the off that after that 2019 season, coming into 2020 season, kind of had some lingering lingering issues there, and then also I had a high ankle sprain. So just to show that, you know, I'm back in back in healthy. I think I'm one of the top running backs, if not the top. I mean, obviously this last year. Um, People can say I had a, a down year. A lot of people don't know I was coming off a lot of surgeries. There's a, there's a lot of different things going on with my body and my health. But uh, the biggest thing for me at the end of the day was helping my team win. So I know when it's all said and done, you know, I have faith in God that everything will work out. Um, you know, wherever I get drafted first round, seventh round, uh, undrafted free agent, whatever happens, you know, I just need a shot. Um, I'll be ready for it. And then um, talking to teams, I mean, I'm a very raw player. Um, that's the way I look at it. I have a lot of things to work on. I feel that I do a lot of things well, but um, someone that's not complacent, um, always trying to get better, always trying to get faster, stronger, work on my hands, work on my routes, pass protection, all these different things. So I got a lot of I got a lot of room to grow. I had a lot of a lot of assets and a lot of good people around me to you know help me be well prepared for this for this moment. Um, you know, obviously I got guys like Justice and stuff that have been around me that have helped me. He's a really good friend of mine that kind of helped me, uh, prepped me for what, what was to come and stuff like that. But yeah, I've, I've had a great team around me to help me for, the, for this process. I've grown so much this year um, as a person, as a leader, um, as a football player. Like I said, a lot of people think I had a down year due to, you know, um, production and stuff like that. A lot of people don't know I had injuries and stuff. But I wanted to win a championship. I wanted to get my degree. And I wanted to just mature. So, and I feel like, I feel that I did a lot of that. Obviously, the one thing you know I wasn't able to help my team do is win a championship, and that's something that will always kind of be on my back. But you know, I hope at this next level, um, you know, whatever program, whatever team, you know, decides to pick me up, I can help them win a championship. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, I'm me. I'm I'm Chuba. Um, I'm someone that's going to stand up for what's right. I'm going to speak up when I think something's wrong. I look at myself as a leader, um, not just on the football field, but also off the football field. So whenever, you know, I'm, you know, called to do something or I need to speak up on something, you know, I'll do that. Um, that being said, you know, I make mistakes. I learn from them. Um, I'm someone, I'm a, I'm a young man. I'm still growing in a lot of different ways. And um, like I said, I'll make mistakes, but I'll, I'll do things well as well. And a b the big thing from it is I always learn from my mistakes. I always learn from my, my greatest successes. So um, I'm still a growing leader. I'm still working on a lot of things. But um, when it comes to that aspect of things, I definitely think that's a, a good attribute to have. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.